space, the final frontier. <laughs> Wait, wrong way, because today we'll be taking a deep dive to the ocean floor. Recently, I came across news that the ocean floor is leaking, and it reminded me of my school days when I first learned about the tectonic plates and the Earth's layered structure. So for you, my friends, I'll kill any intrigue behind this sensational news. But before we dig into the depth, no pun intended, to my new viewers, I'm Kevin Shaw, your friend and a full-time caregiver. So recent scientific discoveries indicate that a breach has been identified in the floor of the Pacific Ocean. Obviously this is causing concern and on April the 15th a hole was discovered on the 965 kilometre long Cascadia subduction zone fault line which connects Northern California and Vancouver Island 80 kilometres off the coast of Oregon. It was discovered that the water escaping from this hole had a different composition than ordinary seawater. This water was fresh not saline and nine degrees Celsius warmer. Now holes on the ocean floor are common because underwater volcanoes can produce them. But what makes this circumstance special is the appearance of warm fresh water in place of lava or magma. Because of its location and the type of water being discharged, this particular phenomenon known as an ocean leak, is especially fascinating. The Pacific Ocean is a vast oceanic plate. The Juan de Fuca plate is a minor plate that runs along the coasts of Northern California, Oregon, Seattle and Vancouver. A tiny oceanic plate, often known as a microplate, is subducting beneath the North American plate. Due to its greater density, the Juan de Fuca plate subducts beneath the North American plate. The Cascadia subduction zone is a subduction zone that stretches for roughly 965 kilometers. The Pacific plate and the Juan de Fuca plate are subducting because of the creation of a divergent plate boundary, which is causing mid-ocean spreading and undersea volcanic activity. This causes a megathrust area. A megathrust area is the subduction zone or the region between the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate. Mega earthquakes, landslides, tsunamis and other geographical calamities are common in these regions. Tectonic plates move as a result of the Earth's crust, both continental and oceanic floating on a layer of thick molten rock in the uppermost mantle. Huge water pockets exist between the crust and the upper mantle, indicating that there may be a sizable amount of water trapped in the layers of the earth. Volcanic activity and extreme heat and pressure are produced when two tectonic plates crash and subduct. This activity is responsible for the formation of the Cascade Range, volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. Pressure is produced by the tectonic plates rubbing against one another. The reason is the water that is leaking is warmer and has a different composition than ordinary salt water and can be attributed to the fluid pressure that is escaping through the holes in the Pacific Ocean bed. Continuous water loss from these pores could have serious repercussions. The fluid pressure in these pockets will drop if the water content decreases. Without this fluid, the friction would rise and there might be strong earthquakes, possibly 9.0 magnitude ones. Already prone to seismic activity, the Pacific Northwest sees a high number of minor earthquakes annually along with a few larger ones on occasion. In this case, the pressure developing along the fault lines and the rate at which the Juan de Fuca plate is subducting beneath the North American plate are crucial variables. 
It is essential to comprehend the ocean leaks mechanism in order to anticipate and get ready for any future geological catastrophes in the area. So do you think this demands sensationalization, but proper awareness so that we can save our people with the right information at the right time? Let's talk about it in the comments. And thank you for watching today and your friend Kevin Shaw says goodbye for now. Thank you.